Glory be to God. Hallelujah. My name is Caesar. I want to welcome you uh, to our YouTube channel on this uh, lovely day. Uh, we praise God for today. Amen. And uh, if you happen to be new, uh, I welcome you to subscribe to our channel and grow, uh, grow with us uh, in the name of our Lord. Uh, we love you so much and thank you for taking the time to be with us and to join us in our broadcast on this day. Uh, and uh, to our returning viewers, we want to say uh, that we love you so much. Welcome back. Uh, you know the drill, you know what we do here. We give uh, all our videos uh, a big thumbs up. We comment underneath. Glory be to God. And uh, we, we, after this, we always pray uh, for all our returning viewers. Glory be to God. Amen. And to everyone else, uh, we can uh, now watch all the advertisements that are running on this video and in all our shows to the glory of God. And uh, when you do that, you are supporting our ministry. You are supporting our channel uh, some of the day. And we bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Amen. And this day we are recording from uh, uh, the Camp Toyoyo Soka Stadium located in Jericho. Uh, this is where we, uh, we grew up. Uh, this is our neighborhood. Uh, this is where we were born. Glory be to God. Camp Toyoyo Jericho Stadium in Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya. Glory be to God. And uh, we, we come here once in a while. Uh, to support uh, the youth here, to support the soccer, uh, the soccer programs and the sports uh, activities. Glory be to God. And we praise the Lord for that. And uh, today uh, our theme uh, is found uh, from the book of uh, Exodus, Exodus chapter 1, from verse number 13 all the way to verse number 22. And our theme is uh, cast into the river. And uh, it's a continuation from, uh, from our Bible reading from uh, uh, last time uh, in our uh, uh, Exodus series. And uh, uh, the Bible says that the uh, children of Israel are grown in number. And uh, the Egyptians were afraid of them. They were terrified and they put them to slavery. And today we want to see how the enemy wanted to destroy or to stop the growth that the Jews were experiencing, the Hebrew people were experiencing in the old days, in the days of the Exodus. And uh, from verse number 13, remember our theme is cast into the river. You know, a river is, uh, is always uh, moving. A river is always moving. And when someone is cast or something is cast into the river, you're gone with the flow. It overflows. And you're gone with the waters. Glory be to God. And uh, we shall not be cast into the waters. Our dreams, our hopes shall not be swept away by the waters. Glory be to God. And in Gen uh, Exodus chapter 1 from verse number 13. We are told, therefore the Egyptians, the Egyptians made the lives of the children of Israel bitter. They made the lives of the children of Israel bitter with hard labor and in bondage. We are told that they made them serve with rigor. Exodus chapter 1 verse number 13. They made them to serve with rigor, hard labor, and therefore they made their lives bitter. They made their lives bitter. Bitter. You know, when you're in bondage, your life has to be bitter. And there are so many people who are in bondage by the enemy. They are held bondage by sin. And their lives are bitter. When they see other people being blessed, they get angry and mad for no reason. Because they are in bondage, held in bondage by jealousy and anger. Praise God. Amen. 
and we are told that they were put in hard labor, in bricks, in mortar, and in the fields, the children of Israel were put in hard labor or to hard labor by the taskmasters, the Egyptians. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Amen. And then you are told that Pharaoh said to the two midwives, Hebrew midwives, in Genesis chapter, sorry, Exodus chapter 1 and verse number 15, we are told that these two ladies, the first one, her name was Shifra, and the second one, her name, her name was poor. Pharaoh told these two ladies, when you perform your midwife duties to the Hebrew women, and when they are set on the bath stools, when they give birth to a son, you shall kill it. But when they give birth to a daughter, you shall save it. But we are told that because these two women feared the Lord, they did not do it. And when Pharaoh found out that these women disobeyed him, he called unto them. And when he asked them why they disobeyed, they told him that the Hebrew women are lively, they are strong, they are not like the Egyptian women. When we go, we find them already delivered of their children. And we are told that because of that, God blessed these two women, Shifra and Pua. God blessed them with households. God blessed them with households. God blessed them, increased them with families in the name of Jesus and property. Amen. And we are told the people grew mighty. The people increased. And you know, the devil didn't stop there through Pharaoh. You know, the devil never stops when he sees you multiplying and increasing. The devil said through Pharaoh, he commanded, he commanded the Egyptians in verse number 21. Exodus chapter 21. Chapter 1 verse 21, sorry. He commanded the Egyptians that every male son Every son that is born to the Hebrew families is to be cast into the river. Glory to God. And we know that so many families lost their children at the command of Pharaoh, who was an agent of the enemy. Amen. But we thank God that our dreams, our hope will not be swept away this morning. And we shall read next time about what God did in Exodus chapter 2. We know the story, the story of Moses. See you next time and make sure you don't miss the next video in our Exodus series. God bless you. Take good care of yourself. Bye-bye. See you again tomorrow. We love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. Bye-bye.